All right, so we got an Xbox that went to a shop in Memphis a few days ago, and after that, the HDMI stopped working again, and they wouldn't warranty it for him. So he came back up here, and it's loose. So they probably just didn't solder it correctly. So let's open it and check it out. So first thing we do is we remove these two screws, one and two. After you remove the screws, you go ahead and pry open on this little top. And then you got the fan that has three screws. Fan connector, you just wiggle sideways, don't wiggle the other way around. And then more screws here. And to remove this little stand, there's a little hook. See that little hook in there? You pull out on it and you twist. I'm gonna need my second hand, so let me do that. All right, after you remove the stand, you got three green screws and one black one. Don't remove the other black. So I will go ahead and remove these three screws, this screw, that screw, these three green ones, and then pull the system. All right, we got the system off, so let's go ahead and remove the disk drive, remove the power supply, and get to the board. All right, this one has two side clips on each side, one on each side. You press them and then you press them. All right, we got this out. This is the HDMI port and okay, I don't want to pull too hard on it so I don't break my pads, but they did do a shitty ass job. All right, when I remove this, the HDMI port fell. They didn't solder it correctly. And let's hope we still have all of the pads. Let's go under the microscope. All right, the pads uh, do look like they're still there, but I'm gonna run my iron on them and make sure they're still there and not just hanging loose. All right, I ran my iron across the pads. They're all there and say they're good to go. We'll just have to wick these four holes and clean the four holes and set a new HDMI port in place and solder it correctly. All right, we went ahead and cleaned the four anchor legs. So let's go ahead and get a new port and install it. All right, we got it soldered on correctly. So let's reassemble and test. All right, we got it assembled good enough so we can test. So Let's test it on the TV. I'm gonna put it back in the shell. I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna close this down. Turn on the TV and let me connect the wires real quick. All right, I got the cables connected, so let's go ahead and press the power button. And we can wait on it. And it's ready. If you're local in Memphis, stop by for same day repair. And if you want to mail this out, you can contact us at www.xlwirelessmemphis.com.